hey guys welcome to another excited video for our java series in this video we are going to make our own algorithm that would be written in java this algorithm is very famous and is known as long's algorithm before continuing let's see what are the timestamps of this video we will see where this algorithm is used and why it is very important these days and the theory of this algorithm and then we will try to make this algorithm in java so without any further delay let's get started before continuing if you have not subscribed this channel then hit the subscribe button and also like this video and share with your friends and if you got any queries or questions then ask me in the comments below this algorithm is used everywhere did you ever wonder that where did that numbers that you see on the credit cards debit cards atm cards or iban numbers came from this algorithm is used to make or generate those numbers and those are not random numbers yes they those numbers are very unique numbers no two persons can have same numbers but these numbers are not random these numbers are issued to you only if they got passed by this algorithm and this algorithm is known as loans algorithm a lot of you would have gone for the online shopping and after selecting all the things and putting them in the cart you would have to enter your credit card information uh, so that they would go to checkout if your payment is verified then those things or the shopping you have done would be shipped to your house or your postal address most commonly uh, stripe and paypal are in use a lot in these days for online shopping and of course they have to process your credit card number its validity that is it a real one or not this algorithm is also used at that points where we have to check whether a credit card number is a real one or a fake one so let's see how to implement this algorithm theoretically so first let us consider a 14 digit number and separate each and every digit after this we have to take every second digit starting from the right side so this is the first one this is second third fourth and you have to take all the second digits okay what's next you have to multiply them by two that means you have to double every second digit so after this one what you have to consider if the product of this number with the two is greater than 10 then you have to make it like that for example if the product of this six by two is of course 12 here and it is greater than 10 then we will separate all the digits like this and we will add them like that so if we got this one here 8 by 2 it would be 16 of course and uh, the sum would be 1 plus 6 and that would be 7 so of course here 7 multiplied by 2 would be 14 and 1 plus 4 is equals to 5 but if the product is less than 10 then we don't have to do anything we have to keep that number as it is like we can see that here 3 multiplied by 2 would be 6 and we don't have to change that number after that i have written here the multiplication results like 6 by 2 12 7 by 2 14 5 by 2 10 9 by 2 18 okay like that and after that we have to apply these two rules here is it greater than 10 or not if it is greater than 10 we have to do the things that i had shown you previously the, you can see that here this was 10 14 18 16 12 and uh, we have changed them according to this rule so after this one we have to replace each digit where it was placed before the multiplication so this three was come after the multiplication of six by two and then further processing so that means we have to replace this six with this multiplication result and simplification eight by this result nine by this result so all these numbers would be replaced all these numbers here every second digit number would be replaced by this answer or results so now you can see that our number would look like this one this 14 digit number have been changed this one was the original one and this one after the simplification okay 
but now now we have to add all the numbers together and if the sum of digits modded by 10 gives 0 or simply that number is perfectly divisible by 10 then this is a valid number for credit cards and it follows the Lewis algorithm oh what is this so this means that after sum of all these numbers 14 digits number we got 74 in this result and if we mod it by 10 and if you don't know what are more deviants or more 10 then i would pref prefer you to watch our operators video and we have discussed this very briefly in that video so its result would be 4 as we know that this gives us the remainder and 4 would be the remainder and we know that 4 is not equals to 0 let us write it here 4 is not equals to 0 so that means this number or 14 digit number is not a valid credit card number but yes if we got something like 80 70 or 100 or whatever number that when we modded by 10 gives us zero then we can say that that number is a real credit card number or that it can be used for transactions so enough theory let us do all these things practically and i have made loans algorithm dot java file here i had a public class and a main method here so first thing first let us out here first thing so enter 14 digit credit card number and let us create a scanner object and we have to import this one import class let us create a long integer i am using here credit card number is equals to input dot next long perfect so we have taken the credit card number but how do we know that this number is 14 or not so for that i would be creating a function here uh, so let me use here public static and it would return an integer and i will tell you why i'm using an integer here i'm using here number counter and we will pass a long number here long number uh, we will use here int counter we will initialize that with zero and while this number mod deviant by 10 is not equals to zero you have to continue and you first have to increment this counter and after that you have to perform deviant by 10 mm, it's looking like good so after here you just have to return the counter okay and uh, the, it's the time to test this function so after testing we will see how it it is working and uh, why we need this one so i am shouting here number length is plus sign here we will call the function here number counter and we will provide it with credit card number okay let's run this one okay enter 14 digit enter 14 digit credit card number but i am entering random numbers one two three four five six seven okay now number length is seven okay it's good run it again i'm entering one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh eleven perfect let's give it a try once more i'm using one two three only and we got three perfect this is working good so let us see in the paint here that why we are using this one so we are making an integer vari variable and we know that that number a credit card number should be at least 14 digit number but how can we do that how do we assure that that number entered by the user is 14 digit if that was a string we can count how many characters are inside that one but uh, we don't have that is for counting digits uh of variables like integers doubles floats or longs so now we need to understand how is this function working so for that we have seen that uh, we are taking a number here for example 10 and we see that in while loop that when it is modded by 10 of course it would give the remainder so 123 modulo deviant by 10 would give us 3 we know that and uh, 
we know that it is not equals to zero so th it would enter in the function uh, into the loop while loop and it would see what is there it would first divide this number by 10 and it will reassign this division enter by this 10 into this credit card number or a variable that we have used here and uh, of course we know that its result would be 12 and 12 would be stored there and the counter value is incremented here it would repeat these processes until the remainder is not equals to zero uh, sorry until the remainder is equals to zero and when we do go that we will just uh return this counter that shows how many digits are there okay now what we will be doing we will use here if i am calling a function here number counter and we will give us the credit card number is equals to 14 then we will do something but if that's not the case we will use here south error your credit card number should be 14 and we have to use should be 14 perfect and uh, we are also sorting here rerun the program okay now here so from this point of view we have seen that if we have a number of 14 digits suppose that so suppose that we have a 14 digit number right now and like that one two three or all the things up to 14 digits so how can we grab all these numbers in visually we have seen that when we modulo deviant this number when we divide this number a modulo deviant with 10 then we will get the uh this here as a remainder and we will be using this technique technique to get all those numbers so we will use here credit card number modulo deviant by 10 of course we have to store it somewhere so let us create a variable here and i'm using here as a remainder remainder and we will use here remainder is equals to this credit card number modulo division by 10 perfect so we will go uh, the number uh the individual number here but what should have to do we but, but one more thing we have to do is that we have to put it in a while loop while this credit card number modulo division by 10 is not equals to zero you have to continue and uh, like that and also what we will be doing we will again use here credit card number this is known as compound division and uh, we are dividing this number by 10 okay until now everything is good but the problem is that how we know that we have to multiply this number by 2 or not so we know that if that's if that digit is uh, i'm putting some lines here this is a one two three four and the fifth one so we know that we have to grab the second number starting from the right and multiplied it one so the problem is that how can we know that this number is a second number or not for that i am creating an int variable checker and i'm giving it a value one if checker value is equals to one or checker value pan modulo division by two gives us zero you have to i'm also creating another variable here uh, i'm using here product uh, in this way we will we will see that if that uh, one, one mistake here we have to use not equals to one uh, that if checker is not equals to one and checker divided by two modulo division by two gives a zero that means if that number is like two four six eight uh when six modulo division by two would give us zero as a remainder so in this way we can say that uh this is a number that is at the second place at the fourth place or the sixth place fine so if we do go that thing we will use here product of course we have to multiply that digit by two we will use here 
product is equals to remainder multiplied by 2 perfect so we got a little error here let us see what is that one cast to int hmm okay migrate we have we have to make it product uh long so let me cut it from here and paste it here and now our error had been gone perfect okay but if that's not the case we will use here else and one more thing that we have to make a variable here uh i'm using comma sum is equals to zero initialize it from zero what we have to do we will use here sum plus is equals to this remainder because if that is not a number on the second place we don't have to multiply that we just have to add uh to other numbers so we don't have to do too much here in this else statement but if in the product here we are also using if product is greater than 10 what we have to do we will see that again but i am using here else uh if that is not greater than 10 that means if it is smaller than 10 we will just use here sum plus is equals to this time we will use here product because our result would be stored in this one so if that one is the product what we will be doing we will use here sum plus is equals to two things here product simple division by 10 and and plus product modulo division by 10 okay i think we have to understand this one here we need to understand this thing here that this line is little bit confusing even i even i was wondering how to do this stuff and then uh, how to add both digits separately so i figured out a way so let me show you the theoretical stuff of this one so uh for example if our product would be 18 suppose it like that when we divide it by 10 it would give us one okay but when we perform a modulo division on 8 by 10 it would give us 8 so in this way we will add those uh, we will get those digits separate and we will perform some on them so it would give us 9 okay perfect hmm. i think everything is perfect everything is perfect hmm. let me check it here oh no 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 we have to do one more thing and that is if we run this uh we will get a lot of errors because we use here checker is equals to one and checker remains one every time so we also have to increment that checker plus plus unary operator okay like that so i think i think this program would work perfectly okay one more thing this is our algorithm but of course we have to uh show to the user that whether it is a number or not so the while loop here we go to sum here and we need to process the sum that uh, first let us sort here some numbers is sum okay let's run it and i would be entering the same number that we have seen in the slides so enter 14 digit credit card number 14 digit credit card number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the other one is 9 8 7 6 5 hmm. we are not getting the results hmm okay i have used all these sort statements so that i can get an idea are my values uh the same or not so i have run it and passed this number again and the turn word uh the remainder was five and sum is five perfect at second turn the remainder is six and product is 12 and three plus five is equals to eight good at the turn three seven and eight plus seven fifteen perfect set four turn 18 remainder product is 16 and uh, it should be 7 15 plus 7 is equal to 22 good and uh, remainder is 9 31 sum is perfect 6 turn is remainder 9 and the product is 13 so 1 plus 8 9 31 plus 9 40 it's good until now the algorithm is working perfect the 7 turn 8 remainder 48 is the sum and at the 8th turn 
रिमाइंडर इज सेवन प्रोडक्ट इज फोर्टीन एंड द सम इज फिफ्टी थ्री या फाइव प्लस फोर्टी एट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी थ्री एट द नाइन्थ टर्म टर्म रिमाइंडर इज सिक्स एंड फिफ्टी थ्री प्लस सिक्स इज फिफ्टी नाइन गुड एट द टेंथ टर्म द रिमाइंडर इज फाइव and the product is 10 and uh, oh the sum is 69 it is not uh, i got the problem here i got the solution for this let us see that yeah it's here if we use this condition then that means whenever you got number equals to or greater than 10 you have to do these steps but if we did we forget this equal sign and we were adding this in 59 so let's run it again and see our results and i am very sure this would work perfect for this time for this time oh my god it's working fine you can see that the sum is 74 perfect and we have also seen in these slides that the product uh, the sum was 74 good so it's time to delete all these things these are the debugging statements that i use a lot so now here let us collapse this condition here and this one also we got the sum here we will see that here if that sum modulo to vn by 10 gives us zero or not if that's the case we will sort here your credit card number is and we will sort here the credit card number let us sort another thing another statement is a very fired is a real number and let us use here real credit card number perfect but if that's not the case we will sort here your number of course the credit card number is not real let's run it again let us pass this number here okay the credit card number is not real and we are getting here another thing the turn so where was that yeah this one here the turn is we have also have to delete it run it again just pass the digits and your credit card number is not real because this was a random number i don't know who have this number or not so let us give it a try and enter another one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 14. okay it is also a not real number let's try it again okay okay your credit card number should be 14 rerun the program your credit card number is uh is a real number okay th this is another bug here that our uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 12 13 14 15 it is a 15 digit credit card number uh by, by the way it is not a credit card number a 14 digit number what we have to do we have to cut all these things from here and we will paste all of them inside this if condition of course we will see that is a 14 digit number or not but if that one is a 14 digit number then we will continue forward so let's give it a try again so okay rerun the program we got the error 14 digit number let's give it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 14 okay it's not 14 uh let's run it again okay let's run it again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay your credit card number is not real 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay good it was 14 now so guys this was loans algorithm that is implemented in java we have seen all these things all the steps and uh, i think all the things would be clear but if you still got questions then you can ask me in the comments below and uh, of course if you have not subscribed this channel then hit the subscribe button like button and also share with your friends goodbye